us. It's pecking my wood. I mean the block of wood over there. I've never seen a woodpecker before. Let's see how close I can get. What if it attacks me? It's making weird noises. I should be relatively safe considering. Oh. <laughs> Sparkles, do something. Sit. Put this part down. There you go. Oh, she knows. Sparkles only knows Chinese, I see. Oh god. That is a foot. Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry for my little hiatus there. I think it's been about two weeks or so since my last video was posted. And to be honest, I've just been a little bit busy with school and other stuff. And the days that I wasn't busy, it just happened to be raining really, really hard. So I opted to drive my car instead. I had a comment uh, the other day from someone and they asked me if I'm still alive. And as much as I appreciate the concern, I just want to let you know that I am alive, I am well and good, and I am back uh, motovlogging again. So I actually have a topic in mind today that I want to talk about, and that is my car crash video that I posted just about a month ago. First off, I want to give a shout out to my friend Miko. He was in my previous motovlog where I was teaching him how to ride a bike. He posted my car crash video on Reddit and put it under the subreddit, Vancouver. So everyone within the Lower Mainland, or a lot of people within the Lower Mainland, saw my video and it caught a lot of attention. And it was actually aired on both CTV and Global News, uh, just the car crash portion of my video. And I had them messaging me asking if I wanted to come for an interview. I, I didn't do it, uh, I don't really want to disclose why I didn't do it, but I just thought that I shouldn't be doing it. I hope you guys can... I feel like it's self-explanatory why I didn't do it. But yeah, I didn't do it, and I just left it at that. Um, but along with the views, came a lot of subscribers, and I actually happened to hit my 100 mark subscriber. For me, that's a milestone because I've never reached that before, first of all. So, it actually makes me a little happy that people are actually watching my videos. So, I basically just wanted to say thanks to everyone who subscribed to me and thanks to anybody who subscribes to me after watching this video or any of my other videos. And I just, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are actually subscribing to me because first off, I don't think I'm that entertaining as a person, but if you guys are being entertained, then I guess I'm doing something right. So I'll continue to do this as uh, long as I can. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm going to quit anytime soon. I just feel like I can keep doing this as long as I am free. And it is actually the beginning of November now. And if you guys don't know, Vancouver kind of sucks for the weather. And it's, it's pretty cold now. So I'm still riding. I'm going to see if I can continue to ride all season and just take my bike out whenever... Uh, the weather is really good, or if it's not raining too much, or if it's not too cold. So there's a lot of factors that play into this, whether I'm going to ride or not. But I will try my best to keep going, because I do want to keep making these moto vlogs. They're, they're fun to make, and they give me something to do during my downtime. I am planning to get a new bike. It's going to be a bigger bike. Uh, hopefully I can get that within the next month. But I am going to keep that a secret for now. And I'll let you guys just fantasize about what I might be getting. Uh, I'll give you guys a hint though. It's not going to be anything bigger than 650 cc's. It'll be a 600 bike though, for sure. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching again and peace out.